Monday morning and I'm in somebody else's yard today. Um, we've just popped down to Chantler's uh, Farm Equipment at Belton um, near Grantham in Lincolnshire to um, pick up a set of sardi size. As you can see there, they're loaded on my trailer already. And uh, but I thought while I was here, we'll have a very quick look around at some of these tractors here. There's a huge amount of equipment here. And it's very hard to comprehend that I think Chantler's are one of the largest machinery dealers or maybe the largest, I might be doing them injustice there, maybe the largest um, machinery dealers um, in the UK with the Agro, Agco brand. Um, but we've started doing a bit more business with them lately, and I have to say, it's been um, very easy, very pleasant, and um, very nice people. So, uh, will you see some red tractors in the higher fleet? I don't know. We might do, actually, yeah. And, uh, or green fence, I don't know. What do people want? Tell me what you want and we'll, we'll see if we can accommodate you. But anyway, I'm going to put around at some of the bits and pieces I see here. And um, it's a monster combine here, monster combine. So uh, we're going to have a look. So there's a huge, huge yard here with all sorts of stuff in it, but some uh, very cute little masses here. Very cute. I think that'd be ideal for my, my, my lawn. 4709s so again I don't know have a clue what any of these numbers um, equate to um, they seem to vary an awful lot so the 4709 again I'm guessing that's looking at the size of that it's probably what a four cylinder 100 horsepower tractor is it or thereabout I don't know um, a 5S115 with a sloping bonnet pretty smart looking tractor then there's some of these I call them new shape masses uh, now that's a beast. I don't know whether the 8 is an 8S series and then horsepower is like a 205. I generally don't know. I probably ought to go and do some research really and have a look. 265. I've got no experience with these tractors at all. So if you have and you've got any comments, please let us know. Some monster tractors. Fence 7220 Vario. Again, nice tractor. Nice tractor, but a little challenger there, tucked away. One five two five. Cool. What do people think of these combines in grey? Is that good? I don't know. Once the new combines. Look at that for a beast. Wow. Of course, you've got Valtra in the range as well. Now these are cool. I spent my youth bailing on uh, conventional balers. And uh, these things were only just, as I finished bailing really, these things really only started to come on the market. Um, so these driving over the swath is far better than we used to have to do and get the gateways and fold up. So I do think these are some rather well, cool bits of my kit. make a lot of sense really when you compare to an old conventional baler you know why did they think this years ago but there you go Mashio plows Mitchell Western trailers will you see more Richard Western trailers in our fleet most definitely most definitely you will so there. Certainly some machinery here, I have to say, but I think they are. Very, very big ag dealer. What 
people think of the cabs on these these new shape masses? Are they good? Are they bad? There's certainly a lot of glass and it certainly seems to be um, good visibility, but what are your thoughts? Let's know in the box below. Are they good tractors? Oh. Now that's the uh, more the type of bay that I was brought up with. Met many now, baiting many, many, many thousands of bales with a conventional baler like that. And I think if I went back to it now, I would most definitely want to go back to uh, that massy uh, that we just see just now. Now look at that for a beast. <laughs> a 940 varia. How many horsepower would that be? I don't know. How many horsepower is that? 450? I'm guessing, I don't know. Anybody know? Look at that for a chap tractor, what a beast. Right, one of the questions we get asked quite a lot on social media is how many tractors, how many trailers, how many telehanders, and how many things we've, we've, we've actually got. Now, it's a very hard question to answer because to be fair, it changes a lot as well. Um, but I always remember a story um, from, when, like, from when I was a lot younger. Um, we used to have reindeer and we used to have, have a herd of reindeer that we would um, use for events and hire out and it was, it was good, it was good. But anyway, one day we were talking to a samurai, the guy that, um, the people that rear the reindeer and I, in making conversation, said to this guy, how many reindeer have you got? And he looked at me and sort of almost, I would say almost in disgust, but you know, he looked at me and I thought, oh dear, what have I offended him? So, anyway, he said to me, let me explain to you. He said, the reindeer are our currency. He said, we trade reindeer, so if we want to buy something, we might sell some skins to somebody and in return, they will give us something back. So he said, they're our currency. So. To ask somebody how many reindeer they've got is exactly the same as asking them how much money you have in your bank account. And I and I thought about it, I thought that's very true, isn't it? You're asking someone how much money have they got. And if but if you actually went to somebody and said, How much money have you got in your bank account? We would all be offended, wouldn't we? All of us would all be like, How dare you ask that? That's not, not right. So, I've always kept thought in my head as, as I've gone through life, when we say to people that are farmers, how many acres do you own, or things like that. And, and it's almost a very similar nature, isn't it? We're asking somebody how much, how much is their wealth. Um, so, I get it, how many houses do you own, how many houses do you rent out, how many traders you've got, how many tractors you've got. So, I tend now, I won't give an answer, because I think back to the, 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 the samurai gentleman, and I think back that I'm asking a, uh, the wrong question. So to all the people that do ask us how many traders we run and things like that, it's a significant number, a very significant number. And a, a significant number that is gonna grow a lot over the next year or two. Same with the tractors, same with the telehandlers. But we would never tell anybody how many we have. So. Please don't think it's being rude. It's not we're being rude. It's purely the fact is the fact that I just don't really think it's appropriate thinking back to the samurai man to go around saying I've got this or I've got that. So um, there we go. Right, we're back home. Go and see what delights away us in the yard. Doesn't our drive look much tidier now that Mr. Fincham has done a wonderful job with his hedge cutter? Far better. So who's feeling good today with these blue skies, summer? I think I'm probably feeling 95% today. How are you all feeling? Does the sun make you feel better? I hope so. I hope so. Right, let's go and see what chaos is in the yard. So we've got, so we've got someone in the shop, which is good. Mm. 
Here we go. Paul's over there getting that um, Richard Weston trailer ready for these um, solid size we've just brought home. So uh, we're going to fit them. Right, we're back in the yard. We have fitted the set of Richard Weston Sardi sides. And it's, it's been a bit of a learning curve, this one. Because they're very, very different to the Stuart. And they've had to amend a few bits. <laughs> Smiling. So, there we go. Here's a question for all our viewers. Right, so here's a question for all our viewers out there, okay? If anybody's actually watching this, of course. Which trailers do you find the easiest to put solid sides on and off? Um, we've been doing Richard Weston today, which is a bit of a learning curve for us because we've, we've nearly always been Stuart. Um, Stuart, we've got down to quite a fine art. Um, and we, we can do that reasonably swiftly. Um, Bailey, we've done in the past. And we've got extensions for some Bailey um, trailers that we've got and some dump trailers. But so what are your, what have you found the easiest trailers to put silage sides on and off? So please in the comments below, let us know which ones. Thanks for watching my video today. Um, bright sunny day, everyone feel happy. I said earlier, I think I'm probably 95%, things are going good. So how are you feeling? Put in the comments below and um, please click and subscribe. Please, 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 it is important. And um, we'll see you again on the next one.